How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're gonna to be doing a quick little video demonstrating just how effective a Mr. Funnel is at separating water. Now, if you'll remember, about two weeks ago, I posted a video showing you guys how to drain fuel from pretty much any container to another one using just a rubber hose and an air compressor to start the siphonic effect. Now, in that video, I had shown a product that I personally use called a Mr. Funnel, which is essentially just a funnel that has a hydrophobic filter inside of it. A hydrophobic filter is designed to repel water. And in that video, I got a couple comments saying that yes, it does filter out water or no, it doesn't filter out water. So today I just wanted to do a quick little video demonstrating just how well it actually works. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So we're over on the workbench today and in front of me, I have what is called the Mr. Funnel portable fuel filter. I showed you guys this product in that siphon video, how to drain fuel from any container. And this isn't your average funnel. Obviously this has a filter built right into it, but that is not your average filter because this is what's known as a hydrophobic filter. So as I said in the intro of this video, a hydrophobic filter is designed to repel water. So the idea behind this product is basically right here. Dirty fuel in, pure fuel out, removes water, dirt, and debris from fuel. Now, just to point things out, I'm not sponsored by this company that makes this product. I bought this myself years ago. The only reason it's still in the box was because I was planning on doing one of these videos sooner or later, and I'm just getting around to it now. So I saved the box to kind of show you guys all of this stuff that I want to talk about. So in that video that I posted two weeks ago, I had a couple different comments. Some of them said that, yes, this product does work exceptionally well to filter out dirt and debris. But I did get a comment that said it doesn't work all that great for filtering out water, which I have here, and we're going to get into that. I also had some other comments that said they swear by this product and that, yes, it really does work. So today we're going to do some tests. So starting off on the right, I have approximately 250 milliliters of clear water. That's fresh water right out of the tap. I'm going to be pouring that into the Mr. Funnel and 250 milliliters should be enough to completely submerge the sediment bowl down at the bottom. Now that's important because I did want to point that out. This Mr. Funnel has been designed with this deeper little area here to allow any dirt and debris to settle without actually blocking the filter itself. So you can imagine if they didn't have that and you dumped in really dirty fuel, you would get dirt and debris coming up the filter and you would block your filter. Now. Once we dump the water in, I'm going to have this empty jar here underneath this funnel. So that funnel will be in the open container. And we're gonna see just how much water, if any, goes from this container through the funnel into that jar. And you're gonna see it in real time. I'll try not to do any editing. I'll just do it in one big take. And then moving way over here to the left, I have a jar of fuel. However, that's not just fuel that's in there. I'm going to hold this up to the window here and see if we can get this to focus. You guys see there is some water in the bottom of that jar. So this is pretty much like what you would get out of a lawnmower that was stored maybe for the fall winter period. So I have my Mr. Funnel set up into my jar here that for the most part is empty. I drained it out the best I could. And what we're going to do is without any cuts, take this 250 milliliters of water and we are going to dump it right into the Mr. Funnel. So you guys are going to see here that we have submerged the sediment bowl at the bottom. I'll try to zoom in here for you guys. And the filter is submerged. However, you guys are gonna notice the water level is not going down. So again, without any cuts, we're going to look into the jar here. I'll try to focus up, adjust my lighting. That Mr. Funnel is not dripping. And that's because, as I said, this has a hydrophobic filter. So the filter that is inside of this Mr. Funnel repels the water and does not allow any water to go through. So what I'm going to do is pick this funnel up, dump it in there, and then I'm going to drain some fuel into here to show you guys that 
There's no trickery. That's not clogged on the bottom. I could actually take some fuel and dump it in now if you wanted to, but I was gonna save that for later where we mix some fuel together. And you guys know there's no trickery here on my channel. So I'm going to dump this out, try not to spill any. Dump that out. Set the Mr. Funnel up again, and then we'll take our fuel here that has a little bit of water in it. And we're gonna dump this in. And you guys are gonna see, again, this is live here. No cuts, I'm spilling a little bit because it's dripping off the side of my jar. But check this out. The Mr. Funnel is funneling out the fuel. And what remains in the bottom of this should be all water. Now, this is a perfect time to explain the flow rates of these funnels. You can get them in different GPM rates, and GPM is gallons per minute. So you can buy them in a smaller funnel, let's say a 3.5 gallon per minute, or you can buy a Mr. Funnel that's like a five GPM, which is going to allow five gallons per minute to flow through this. So if you had like a small lawnmower, the small one is perfect, but if you were going to be filling up a boat at a marina or a dock, you may want a larger one. So as you guys can see, you let this thing sit and over time it will filter out all of the dirt debris and the small amounts of water. And obviously you guys saw I dumped in 250 milliliters of water directly into that pure water and none of it went into the jar below. So I'm just gonna lift this up a little bit, allow the rest of the fuel to drain through. And we're going to see here, check out all the water that's left in there. Now there may be some fuel in there as well. So I would not advise you guys to go ahead and just dump this into the marina, you know, if you were filling a boat, because there could still be some dirt and debris and fuel in there. So what I would recommend is just have like an empty jar nearby so that you could always dump off what's left in your Mr. Funnel after you've filled up your jerry can or your boat or your lawnmower, whatever it may be. So here on my workbench, for instance, I have this glass jar that is pretty much my discard jar and any nasty fuel or water that comes out of a carburetor's bowl, I go ahead and just drain into this bowl here. You guys can see a little bit of oil from a two stroke. Pretty much everything goes into here. So now that you guys saw just how effective the Mr. Funnel was at preventing the 250 milliliters of water from going through into our jar, and you guys saw that it allowed the fuel to go through, separating the little bit of water that was at the bottom of that, which hopefully I can show you guys. Can't really see it all that well, but there may be the slightest amount of water and that could have been residuals left in the bottom of the jar however now I want to do a mix of the two so I'm going to take this fuel here and dump it into the jar of water there measure out maybe about 500 milliliters and then we'll mix it up with a stir stick and I'll go ahead and dump it into the jar and see how effective it is at separating the 250 milliliters of water from the approximately 250 milliliters of fuel. So I'll go ahead and drain this in and try to measure out about 500 mils. What do we think? Pretty close, good enough. Maybe a little bit under, but you guys can see, check that out, water right to the bottom. And that's what happens in your lawnmower's fuel tank. So just like I said, water always settles to the bottom and in a lawnmower or pretty much any small engine, apart from some riding lawnmowers that have the top down pickup, you're going to have your fuel tank with the fuel line right at the bottom. So on a single cylinder engine, you're getting pure water going into your combustion chamber and it's not going to combust, which pretty much doesn't allow your engine to start. So with that being said, I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. We'll go ahead, dump it into the Mr. Funnel and see what comes out. So I'm trying to mix this with a little stir stick and you guys can see that it's not mixing all that well. Okay, so I had that lid on this jar and I was shaking it up quite a bit. You can see we still have water at the bottom, fuel at the top. However, the fuel is much cloudier because it has quite a bit of water mixed in with it. So once again, just to show you guys, just how much 
liquid we're dealing with here. It should be roughly the same amount. Pretty much maybe 475 milliliters total. So we'll go ahead and drain this into our jar. See if we can do one shot here. We're spilling a little bit, but you guys are gonna be able to see there's fuel coming out at the bottom and it's gonna take a little while to drain. Obviously going back to the GPMs, the higher the gallons per minute, the faster it will drain. But if you're trying to separate a little bit of dirt and debris out of your jerry can, and you're just putting this into a lawnmower with a small tank, you shouldn't really have to worry too much about a fast flow rate. Like I said, for automotive purposes, you guys are gonna want one that drains a little bit faster. But we can see we're getting just about to the end here. And check this out. Check out all that water, guys. I wouldn't drink that, but it looks pretty clear to me and you guys can see a whole bunch of floaters in there. All kinds of nasty stuff. You know, tiny little bits of gunk like that. Let's see if I can zoom in here. See that little piece in there? That would be just enough to clog a pilot jet and then you'd get surging on your lawnmower. Thing wouldn't want to idle and you'd have to be revving it out all the time. You know, maybe your mower only cuts grass under load you know, a little piece of gunk in there. So we had 250 mils of water, 250 mils of fuel approximately. So again, I'll probably make a mess. So that was the water and fuel mix. Let's see what we have here. Check that out. Maybe a little bit of fuel in there just over 250 mil line. So you tell me guys, does the Mr. Funnel portable fuel filter work good or what? Again, I'm not sponsored by this company. I bought this myself years ago. I think I bought it at Walmart. You guys can get these things on Amazon, eBay. You wanna go with the brand name, Mr. Funnel by Flow Tool. This is the original one. And in my opinion, this is the one that works best. So if anybody else is saying that, uh, these don't work that good. Well, maybe they didn't have the Mr. Funnel brand one. Maybe they had a cheap Chinese knockoff. But uh, yeah, you guys tell me. Water, fuel, looks separated to me. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Like I said, not sponsored by these guys. Went out and bought that product myself with my own money years ago to use here in the shop. And I use it all the time whenever I'm transferring fuel that I think has a little bit of dirt and debris or a little bit of water in it. Also, I'm not the only one that has this product and that uses this product in the small engine repair industry. I know that Steve's Small Engine Saloon also did a good video on pretty much documenting the same thing that I did. He had the exact same results. He poured pure water in and not a single drop came out, which I mean, you know, you gotta be happy with those results. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week, check channel out for new content. And as always guys, thanks for watching.